This is The Locker Room on News 3. Hello and welcome inside this special Virginia Beach TV edition of The Locker Room. I am News 3 Sports Director Adam Winkler. It's week four of the high school football season, so when it comes to your record, if there's still a zero, well, you're a hero. Of course, that's only if the zero is in the loss column. And a couple schools in the Beach District started the week unbeaten, but did not finish that way. Lansdown is 3-0, but their opponent, Green Run, gashed the Eagles by 23 points last season. Lansdown strikes first in the first. Brent Stooks storms in from five yards out at 7-zip Eagles. Green Run ground game trying to get the Stallions back in it. Big sneaky run right there from Cameron Smalls. And later on in the drive, Lamonte Perry finds his way into the end zone. This is from about 10 yards out. Two-point conversion, though, no good, so it's still 7-6 Lansdown. Eagles add to that lead late in the half. Julian Freeze ices the green run defense. A 10-yard TD scamper. Lansdown stays perfect on the season with a 35-16 win. Green run's lone loss of the year before tonight came against unbeaten Bayside. Marlins this week taking on Tallwood 14-14 at the break. There's your halftime entertainment. This, your third quarter entertainment. Tallwood's Adrian Wilson wants the corner of the end zone, and he gets the corner of the end zone. 21-14 Lions after the PAT. Marlins have scored 30 points or more in all three games this season, but Michael Martinez in the high-flying Bayside offense bottled up by Tallwood. Wacky things happen under moons like that. Tallwood hands Bayside its first loss of the year, 21-14. 2-0 Salem at Princess Anne, first quarter, no score, no more. Scotty Watson finds Tayshawn Rainey and watch Rainey do the rest. He really enjoys this forecast because it ends in a touchdown. Long TD strike gives the Sun Devils a 7-zip lead after the PAT. Of course, second quarter, same 7-0 score. Cavaliers with an equalizer. Dre Newell to the house. Tackle on the PAT there, and we are knotted at 7. But folks, you know if we're going to show a kickoff highlight, it's going to be because said kickoff had a happy ending. Michael Vickers takes the ensuing kick back for 6, and Salem stays perfect on the year with a 42-14 win over Princess Anne. Kellum trying to serve up its first victory of the season. Knights hosting Cox and the Falcons defense just gobbling up Kellum all night. Zach Maurer and Matthew Broccoletti in on the stop there. We are still scoreless. Cox find, trying to find a spark. Jake Wallace, he does. He finds a hole. Falcons smell the scoreboard. Or talking about the burger still. They can taste it. That drive stalls, though, thanks to everyone's All-American. The All-American, the stud, is Turf Monster. A.J. Smith goes down untouched, and we stay scoreless after our cameras leave. Cox comes to life. Falcons beat Kellum 24-zip. Last but certainly not least, pair of winless teams trying to get off the schneid. Kempsville hosting first Colonial. Check out Rico Vanderbilt taking off. Reversing field just does not want to be denied. His Patriots are in business. To cap off the drive, though, Rico's catching his breath. It's Isaiah White. Just run White this way. 20-0 first Colonial at that point. Pats pick up their first win of the year, 28-zip over Kempsville. All right, that's it for this VBTV edition of The Locker Room. Remember, you can catch us all week long on News 3, and we are always on at WTKR.com. Thank you for tuning in. Hope to see you again next week.